forgetting about those things that are behind me. I'm pressing toward the mark of the high calling. Love you, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> take care. Uh -huh. As I said, this is the Perfect Peace Bible Church ministry. Yeah, radio broadcast right downtown, Super Bowl City, 2022, USA. Uh huh. And we're in the radio booth, broadcast booth, yeah, here at the KTYM radio station, yeah, uh, sub entity of um, media entertainment, Dr. Thomas Blackwell, CEO, yeah, and uh, engineer. So we thank God, yeah, that he's still holding us up, yeah, amen, through it all we've been through. Yeah, God is still in control. And I want to encourage somebody today, yes, that whatever you're going through, you need to put your mind on Christ Jesus and trust him. I don't care nothing about the fiery furnace. Trust Jesus. Ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Trust Jesus. Ask me. Yeah, you ain't got to go back to Daniel in the lion then. Ask Pastor Charles Ashley, won't he do it? Yeah, he'll do it. My brothers and sisters, and yes, this is our radio broadcast of the Perfect Peace Bible Church right downtown, Inglewood, California, 11-51-53 South Broadway Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90061. But we're in the city now where the SoFi Stadium is. Y'all know about them rounds. <laughs> you know about them. We don't get the uh, Lakers tighten up. But our theme here is if you make the step, God will send the help. I'm a living witness that he'll do it. So we come, amen, and greet you in that matchless name that's above every name. Yeah, call a friend. We're going to give y'all time. Amen. Call your Facebook friends and tell them to tune in that Pastor C.L. Ashley of the Perfect Peace Bible Church is on the air broadcasting live. Yeah. <laughs> we live today. Uh -huh. And how we thank and praise God as we journey toward, yeah, as we journey toward, uh, amen, Resurrection Sunday. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday. And I'm going to talk about, amen, the journey is worth the trip. You know, we want to get there, but we don't want to go through nothing that we have to go through. But look what our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus went through. Look what he went through. And just take a minute to meditate on it as I make myself hey, ready, amen, to share with you. Yes, once again, call your Facebook friend. Yeah, call them, call them, call them. Tell them that the Perfect Peace Bible Church radio broadcast is on the air. And you know what they used to come. Hey, shake it. Tell them sit is on the air broadcasting. <laughs> Praise God. And to my 11 meter band family and friends, how we thank and praise God for you. Everybody don't know what we say when we say 11 meter band, but you know. Yeah. So we thank and praise God. Happy happy birthday, Deacon Thomas. Thank you for tuning in, man. Yeah, this is our hour. And somebody says, our hour power. We come to encourage you that are under the sound of my voice. As I said, I theme is if you make the step, God will send the help. And I don't have to go back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm stopping right here, yeah, at the Perfect Peace Bible Church radio broadcast. Ask me. Amen. Brother Gordon, you know what I went through. Yeah, but look at God. Look at God. Yeah, look at God. Amen. And I tell people everywhere I go, I'm a Romans 8 and 31 baby. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I believe it, I believe it, that God is for me. Yeah, just a few announcements, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, give you, tag your friends and tell them to tune in to this radio broadcast. Yeah, first of all, I want to acknowledge my sponsors. 
I want to acknowledge yeah, Jay's Hawley. Yeah. Uh, phone number 323-835-2101. Jay declare if you call, he'll haul. And he said he's got miles of smiles. Yes, he is. Amen. He's been with me from the genesis of this radio broadcast. I think this is about my third or fourth year. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's been right here supporting me every step of the way. So give Jay a, Jay a call. Once again, that number is 323-835-2101. And don't forget to tell Jay that the Perfect Peace Bible Church, Pastor C.L. Ashley, recommended you. Yeah, recommended you. Yeah. And then let us not forget uh, Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson. Yeah, real real estate. Uh, Keller Williams. I think she's on Larchmont Avenue. Just Google Keller Williams Real Estate on Larchmont Avenue in the city of Inglewood, California. Yes, and ask for, yeah, if you get the number, ask for Sister Kelly Walker William. Yeah, so tune in, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, we are on the air. Yeah, we are on the air. Yeah, and then don't forget to let, um, yeah, Sister Kelly Walker know that you heard about her yeah, on the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yeah, uh, radio broadcast. If you're looking to buy a home, yes, yeah, if you need somebody to manage your real estate, your property, everything, it, stuff like that, give Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson a call and tell her that Pastor C.L. Ashley recommended you to her. And I guarantee you, she'll do you well. She'll do you well. Yeah. Then, let's not forget, even though, amen, he's gone to work, uh, my good friend, my brother, yeah, Pastor Gregory White, who supported us, yeah, down through the years, but his work schedule kind of hindered him from, amen, being here on this Saturday. Normally, this would be his Saturday. And Pastor Gregory White, he's on fire for the Lord. Uh, yeah, the Lord House of Prayer for all people. Yeah, the Lord House of Prayer for all people. And that address is 9318 Southwestern Avenue in the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Zip code 90047. Yeah, and check him out. A multi-talented young man. Yeah, he do the organ, the guitar, teach music, and he got a word. Yeah, he get, he got a word. So we thank and praise God for our sponsor. Then we thank and praise God for you, amen, for your love offerings through cash out that you done, have done and continue to do. We thank and praise God for each and every one of you. And then I want to remind you that every penny, not every ten dollars, not every dollar, every penny you donate to the Perfect Peace Bible Church ministry is tax deductible. No, 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 we ain't no storefront with a sign throwed up and some curtains in the window. No, we are a legitimate cooperation. Yes, we are. So, amen. Give me time to just kind of tune in. And then, my brothers and sisters, you are in, you are in, you are in, you are in, yeah, for the time of your life. And, uh, yes, we are celebrating 20 years, yeah, 20 years of pastoral ministry. Yeah, we are celebrating, yeah, 20 years and how God has been good for us and showed us favor. Yeah, I'm one of the blessed ones. Yeah, God didn't tell me to close the church doors, so I didn't. <laughs> Through the two and a half, three years of pandemic, the Perfect Peace Bible Church doors have been open, swinging on the hinges of welcome. 
Then we have had some of our sis, sister churches to visit us. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, had some of our sister churches to visit us, and I ain't heard about nobody getting sick. Yeah, um, I've been to a lot of funerals in state and out of state, but I haven't had to bury a, a member of the Perfect Peace Bible Church behind the virus, as y'all call it. Yeah, the virus. Yeah, uh -huh. I haven't had that. And I thank and praise God for the favor that he has shown me and the body of Christ in this branch of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yes, I do. Now, let me get back to y'all. Hey, as I told you, this is our 20th year. Yeah, our 20th year of pastoring. And we are already planning. We are already planning for our banquet. Yeah, our souvenir book. Uh-huh. And, and you don't want to miss the preaching. No, you don't want to miss the preaching that Saturday or that Sunday. You don't want to miss it. No, you don't want to miss it. My homeboy, yeah, Apostle John L. Mo Mohorn of the Word of the Living God, and, yeah, ministry of Pompano Beach, Florida, 149 Northwest 26th Avenue. Check that boy out. <laughs> check him out. Yeah, check him out. Amen. And I, when I, we first organized the church, Apostle Mohorn came to Los Angeles, California, and did a revival at my pastor's church. And I got that VCR. I'm saving it for him because he probably ain't got no VCR. But he modern. <laughs> but I got one. I'm saving it for him. And then our first year, yeah, our first year revival, he came back to Los Angeles, California. Yeah, he came back to Los Angeles, California in 2003 and brought 17 of his members. And I told him, I said, John, I said, this is my 20th year. He said, Doc, it's been that long. I said, yeah, it's been that long. And I said, I need you. I said, I know it's your appreciation service month. I said, but I need you here for this occasion. And he has promised me, he said, Doc, I'll be there 20 years. I said, yeah. He said, I'll be there. So check him out on YouTube. Yeah, you're in for a treat. Yeah, and our anniversary starts. Yeah, our anniversary starts. Amen. We organized in October, but because of my pastor at that time, who I believe rests in the bosom of Abraham, People who sleep with the Lord. The Lord don't never sleep. So I say he rests in the bosom of Abraham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, his anniversary was the same time that we organized the Perfect Peace Bible Church. And since I was the baby, I said, Pastor, I didn't move up to November. This is my first one. And it was by his 40s or 50s or so. I said, I just moved up to November. And that's why we have it in November. Yes, I, as John said, I decreased. Yeah. And, and um, that's why we have it in November. The second Sunday, yeah, in November, uh, every year for 20 years. Yeah, and I know that Veterans Day, one of them holidays fall on that. But uh, we're going to stick with what we have. We've had it, amen, for 20 years, and I don't intend to change it. Now, I don't know what my Joshua might do. No, I, I, I don't know what he might do, but I ain't going to change it. No, the second Sunday in November, we'll be having the Perfect Peace Bible Church anniversary. And my brothers and sisters, we're going to, yeah, be sending out letters and for our souvenir book asking you to patronize i don't have all the information to share on the broadcast because this day i've been running and because we are getting ready we are getting ready but i will share it with you in the coming months we'll be sending out letters requesting amen and asking as well Amen. That you would take an ad out in our souvenir book. 
yeah, and your business card, you know, that you will patronize this effort that God has given me the vision to do. Now, 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 let's get back up to the present. Yeah, seven last saying this coming Friday at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. We got some great preachers coming. Yeah, Dr. W. Keith Wood is yeah, going to be our first speaker. And then, um, I think it's uh, amen, my son, my spiritual son, Reverend Roland Hawkins II, the interim pastor at the Second Mount Nebo Missionary Baptist Church of Inglewood, California. Then, amen, we got them. Yeah, the bad, bad Parker boy. <laughs> yeah, we got JP, uh, Dr. James P. Parker, who is the senior Parker. And then we got Glenn Joseph Parker. Then we got the Reverend Chris Parker. Yeah, the Reverend Evangelist Glenn Joseph Parker. Then the Reverend Chris Parker. Yeah, and then uh, who else is there? Amen. That's fine. I got one more. I can't pull his name out the hat, but I got it. But you don't want to miss. Amen. I summarize it. Yeah. Dr. Perry Spencer Jr. of First Christian Church of Linwood, California. Yeah. I put him right up there with, uh, amen, uh, Dr. Keith Wood. Them boys have it together. And they make it plain. Yeah, they make it plain so you can hear. That's Friday night at 7 p.m. At 111-51-53, two buildings in one place, South Broadway Avenue. Yeah, and then um, Easter, 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 Easter. Do we have a wish you extravaganza for you? Yeah, uh, uh, S-O-N-R-I-S-E, Sunrise Service. Yeah, we'll be serving community breakfast. Yeah, everybody that comes through is going to get some of them good eggs and bacon and, yeah, grits and, uh, uh-huh, and waffles. <laughs> yeah, orange juice. And look at this. A friend of mine gave me about five bushels. Yeah, five bushels of fresh oranges. He wanted to clean his tree because it had new blooms coming up. So we're going to have fresh orange juice right off the tree. Think about five bushes of oranges and uh, yeah, and a few grapefruits. So we're going to have fresh orange juice, milk, yeah, coffee and tea. And we're going to have the gold, what they say, the gold and you can set yeah, up under the canopy at the Perfect Peace Bible Church and enjoy your breakfast. Then after the Easter Sunday morning wish it were yours truly. Yeah, yeah. We'll be talking about Jesus got up and he wants us to get up. And my question to you is will you follow the commandment of him who got up after three days in the grave and was handed all power in heaven and earth, yeah, and hell below too, in his hand, yeah, my question to you, my brothers and sisters, you that been down, you that been struggling and wondering why, I got a rhema word for you, Sunday morning, yeah, tomorrow, not, not Palm Sunday, but Easter Sunday morning, the 17th, yeah, I got a rhema word for you, and not only am I studying, I'm praying and fasting, asking God to, amen, not only anoint my mind, yeah, but anoint my tongue. For you heard him say, amen, there's power in the tongue. Yeah, and I'm reminded of the, the beginning of creation. The Bible said, amen, that it, the land was void. Yeah, and the Spirit of God moved upon the deep. And God said, let there be light. 
Ain't no white. Y'all to let them boys talk sometime. <laughs> Mr. White, y'all to let them talk sometime. Give them a little talk time, man. <laughs> I'll be reading the mail on you, my brother. Yeah, but y'all to come through, man. Bring the family. That Bring the family, Dynamite White. Amen. I knew this young man. When he, <laughs> he wasn't even married. That's how long we go back. So thank you for tuning in and waving, man. I was reading the mail on you this morning. How you had that stick out there. All right. God, but, but again, after our Easter Sunday morning wish of service, we're going to serve lunch. Yeah. From 1.30 to 3. From 1.30 to 3 p.m. You can sit and eat up under the canopy. We got enough room to set about 60 or 70 people. Uh, you can get the carry out tray and get on down the road. You don't want to miss this one. No, you don't want to miss this one. Then, our, 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 Lord God, our spring concert. Yeah, our spring concert. It just happened to fall on Easter Sunday. He told me, why don't you move it to the fall Sunday path? I said, I don't have nothing to do with the time. It's in God's hand. I just keep doing what we've been doing. Yeah. Uh-huh. You don't tell me to move Christmas. <laughs> I ain't going to move Easter. No, no, no. Hey, nephew. Yeah, all the way from Shelbyville, Tennessee. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, he going to be a preacher, y'all. That's Tommy Payne. Yeah, I, I see it in his spirit. Yeah, uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, then the Perfect Peace Bible Church will present the Perfect Peace Bible Church Choir in concert. Yeah, in concert, yeah. Then we got Brother Sonny Harris, one of our musicians. Hey, Pastor Hey, well, thank you for tuning in, uh, Brother President. Yeah, of the Worldwide Pastors Fellowship. You got my vote. <laughs> Great God. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Perfect Peace Bible Church will be presented in concert. Uh, yeah, our, our musician will be Brother Sonny Harris, Brother Barry, Brother Robert Mitchum, Mother Hager Triggs will be there. Yeah, and some of our youth will be singing at the Easter Sunday morning and the 4 o'clock service. That's when the Perfect Peace Bible Church will be in concert. Yeah. And you don't want to miss Easter Sunday morning. If you get out early, Come by the Perfect Peace Bible Church. And I brag on my uh, cooks, uh, <laughs> Pastor Haywood. I brag on them because they know how to put it together. And they are excited about it. We are preparing enough food for 100 people from breakfast to dinner. Yeah, I've invited some of my sister churches. Whoever come, come. Because we, we are laying out the spread. Yeah, we are laying out the spread. Yeah, uh huh. And then let me not forget, Mother Hager Triggs will be there. Yeah, we go like the young folks at old school. Well, I'm Stroud Fence, y'all. I can deal with the old school. Matter of fact, I love it called the old school influenced and persuaded me that I needed a savior. Yeah, mm hmm. And then we got the new thing. You know, but Brother Sonny Harris. Uh, the musician for Pleasant Hill, yeah, uh, I think it's Pleasant Hill, the Missionary Baptist Church, Dr. Hill, pe the pastor, amen. He has given, he's been working with us, and he has given us some outstanding songs, yeah. And everybody in the choir is excited about it. So stop by. Our address once again is 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue. In the city of Los Angeles, California. Uh huh. The zip code 90061. And you can't miss us. You can't miss us. Yeah, because we got a sign. Yeah, we got a sign. Thank you, Pastor Hager. Amen. Uh, waving. And then, uh, uh, oh, they go to Coconut Cracker, my friend. Go back almost 40 years, Brother Larry Funches, uh, whose wife just transitioned. Know that we are praying for you. And my phone 
locked up and I don't have your phone number, but I'm going to go on Facebook and get it, and I'll give you a call. I'm giving you time to strengthen yourself. Man, be encouraged, man. God don't make no mistake. God don't make no mistake. And I tell people, amen, you got to pay for your sin if you don't turn it over to Jesus. Yeah, that's what 1 John 1 and 9 said. If you confess your sin, God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He's simply saying that I'll strengthen you to overcome those things that Satan has persuaded you to do and you be thinking on this good to you and know that it ain't good for you. Yeah. So be encouraged, amen, Larry, and I'll be in touch, man. I just, it's been, when my phone went out for three days, I was just like a blind man with no legs. <laughs> yeah, all I could remember was four, four phone numbers, but uh, it taught me a lesson. It taught me a lesson. Yeah. Thank you, hey, Brother Highlander, all the way from Wyoming. Thank you for tuning in, man, and thank you for accepting my friend request. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to, yeah, share this word, y'all. I'm just trying to share this word because I, I, I ain't nothing but a saved sinner, just like some of y'all. That's all. And, 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 and he ain't finished with me yet. He's still working on me. Yeah, he's still working on me. Yeah, and I, I tell people, they look at me, amen, when I say this, I say, I don't like hanging around Christians. So Jesus said, the way I need no physician. Yeah, I'm a sidewalk, yeah, I'm a sidewalk witness. Yeah, I'm in the dope housing along the whole stroll, skew that expression, but that's me. Them the people, and then as I was riding down Figueroa yesterday and seeing all them young ladies out there, I said, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. So every fourth Sunday, every fourth Sunday after Easter, the Perfect Peace Bible Church, yeah, we go into the streets. I won't even be preaching in the church. I told the mothers and the elders, y'all stay here and pray. I'm going to the streets and let somebody know that Jesus is still in the soul saving business. Yeah. That's what he called me to do. And, and, and the, the seminary taught me that preaching is a divine spoken word with a view to persuasion. And it ain't about your Mercedes, your big house, your pretty clothes, your diamond. No, Jesus said, search the scriptures. But in them, you think you find eternal life. But they only speak to me. Yeah. So if you ain't got Jesus, you in bad shape. And, and I don't argue. Because he said, coming back, then all of us going to know. Yeah, all of us going to know. All of us going to know. So so I don't have to argue the scripture. You know, I just study it to show myself approved. And if God was to send me to the deepest part of hell, uh, yeah, right now, when I open my mouth, I'd preach Jesus. I'd preach Jesus. Yeah. I ain't got to go back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Larry, you know it. Amen. I shared my testimony with you with that B-40 rocket come through my leg and knocked about a six-inch hunk of meat out of my leg and didn't break a bone, stuck in my thigh and didn't explode. Yeah. You know, I ain't got to go back to Bible day to know that Jesus is real. Yeah. And all y'all thinking about when you, 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 you're dead, you're done. No, that is one of the biggest misnomers that's ever been told. Read Genesis 2 and 7. He said, form us from the dust of the earth and breathe it in our nostrils and we became a living soul. Yeah. And God, 
done died one time. He ain't going to die no more. He died for you and me. And it's up to us. Yeah, it's up to us. Yeah, he give us the power to determine where our soul going to spend eternity. Where our soul going to spend eternity. Yeah, it's up to us. And doing good, living good, ain't enough. No. No. Just read the fourth chapter of St. Matthew and see what Satan offered Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought I was on, on top of the world when I was out there in that world. Said to myself, I know about Jesus, but I ain't got time for him. But thank God for a praying grandmother. Yeah. Thank God for a praying grandma. And I tell people now, I'm a Roman 8 and 31, baby, because I love him with every fiber of my spirit and soul. I love Jesus. And I'm glad, amen, for the adversary that buffeted me sometime. Yeah, he buffeted me sometime. Yeah, and he pushed me down. But I know how to call on the man who holds all power in heaven and earth in his hand. And I just ask him, I say, Lord, I don't know why, but I know you know. And this is my request, that you get the glory in my trials and tribulation troubles on every side. Yeah. Once again, let me share, oh my, let me share my, um, uh, notification of my sponsor jay's hauling yeah jay said if you call he'll haul yeah that's 323-835-2101 give jay a call jay said he got miles of smile no job too small or large give jay a call and don't please don't forget to tell him that Pastor Ashley of the Perfect Peace Bible Church referred to. Then I ask you, amen, if you got property that you need managed, yeah, or you want to buy a home, yes, amen, call Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson. Yeah, call Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson of Keller Williams uh, Realty on Lochmont Avenue in the city of Inglewood. Call her, give her a call, and please, would you please just tell her, yeah, that Pastor C.L. Ashley referred to you. She'll do you well. I put my word on it. She will do you well. And let us not forget, amen, our brother, Pastor, who would be here on the broadcast on the second Saturday of the month. Yeah, Pastor Gregory White, but his job... Amen. And uh, switch his schedule so he won't he's not here. But I'm praying that amen that his off days will become Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I'm praying that, that his off days will become Saturday and Sunday and he can be back on the broadcast. He was such a blessing to us. And that's the Lord House of Prayer for all people at ninety three eighteen Southwestern Avenue. Los Angeles, California, 90047. Yeah. So we thank and praise God for you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And we just thank for the God, yeah, for you tuning in. Uh, yeah. And just to, amen, have the friendship and the love ship of people that I've never seen uh, shook shook their hand we call it balls and claws in our hobby of letting me the band and ham you know radio operation but it's been such such a joy yeah and i always have to give a shout out to my my big brother and i'm hoping to meet him one day yeah <laughs> mr one two three mo watts of chicago illinois yeah, in the ugly truck down in Fashetti. I'm hoping to meet him. I used to go to Chicago and do revivals there. Amen. But I haven't been in the last, I think it last three or four years. But I got people that still call me from that city. So I, 
I praise and thank God just for the joy. Yeah, and uh, just just getting back into it, I be in and out, in and out. And when we first organized the church, I lo loved it so. It was hindering me, so I took it down. And, and Brother Larry Funches, yeah, time bomb, the coconut crack out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. He's listening to me now. He took, he bought the tower and took it all the way to Vicksburg, Mississippi. I don't know if he still got it up or not, but I'm back. Yeah, and when you hear that hand a handful you'll know that it's the preacher coming out of Los Angeles, California. <laughs> like I tell him, I'm a handful of deal with uh, Dr. Mike White when I got a little bit of Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, you know, amen. So God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to, amen, I got what, 25 minutes. And once again, amen, as we send out our letters, I called uh, Mr. Jacket Diamond, and I know that the uh, new DX director is going to be out, and we'll be pumping out some letters, you know, asking for names and things just to put in our souvenir book that I'll be back, amen, to just look back over my life and see how God, what God has done, and what God has done. I think. I don't know, is it this weekend in New Orleans, New Orleans or next weekend? But I know I have plans. I already got it on my schedule. I intend to be downtown, the ATL, yeah, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, I intend to be downtown there. Yeah. And, and then... Uh, Yes, we intend to be down there. That will be my first one. Yeah, in about, yeah, it's been about 11 years. Probably more than that. Me, Bob Gibson. I don't know do y'all, I know you know uh, Dana, uh, Mr. Tibbs. He's still holding on, man. He's doing good. He's, but um, he just don't get out that much. Yeah. yeah. Those that have gone on, yeah, Lazy Boy. 310, yeah, yeah, but uh, God is good, and I, I want to tell everybody under the sound of my voice, don't be surprised at the thing that, amen, challenges us, for Jesus warned us and informed us, St. John 16, you shall have trials and tribulations in this life yeah you shall have you ain't gonna get out of here without something he said can i just make it plain for you he said don't worry about it no no just trust me my peace i give unto you not as the world give it and ain't no peace like the holy ghost peace yeah, ain't no peace like it amen uh, the, uh, in Highland, I was arguing with God when I first organized the Perfect Peace Bible Church. I was a supervisor in the postal service. My wife was a licensed vocational nurse, and we were doing all right. And I had seen how people treat pastors. I said, no, I couldn't take that. No, I couldn't take it. And I argued with God. I, said, I don't even know how to name a church. God, Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, go to Isaiah 26 and 3. Just like I'm talking to you all. And I grabbed my Bible and went over there. He who keeps his mind stayed on thee. I will keep him in perfect peace if he trusts in me. And I've been trusting him, you all, for 20 years. Sometime up. Sometimes down, sometimes ain't nobody in the church but the Holy Ghost in me. But I kept on trusting God. Yeah, I kept on trusting. Twenty years. I asked myself, where did the time go? 
but I wouldn't take nothing from a journey now. So I know that he's a way maker. Yeah, I know that he's a way maker. And then uh, I'm going to be right back here tomorrow morning at 10.30. At 10.30, I'm going to be right back on the air streaming live Facebook in the pulpit of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yes, I am. Amen. So I want to thank all of you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And I'm going to... And I'm going to dedicate this message here, amen, to my friend, my brother, yeah, uh, Brother Larry Funches, sometimes called Time Bomb, sometimes, yeah, unit number 211, yeah, in Vicksburg, Mississippi. His wife just transitioned, amen, but I'm going to dedicate this message tonight, and I won't be long. I got 20 minutes to stay on the air. Amen. And I'm praying already, Larry, that the Holy Ghost will let me, amen, share this with you. You that have your Bible, you that have your Bible, in the book of Hebrews, the sixth chapter, I want to talk about an anchor for the soul. Yeah, an anchor for the soul. I want to dedicate this message to my friend in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I had planned on going through there in March, yeah, last month. But as I left church on the first Sunday in March and got up on the freeway, God ran into the back of my car and told the back of it all, brand new Cadillac. It wasn't brand new in age, but it didn't have but 4,300 4, miles on it when I bought it. The new smell was still in it. It was my pastor's car who licensed and ordained me. We went home to be with the Lord in 2017. Same year. I couldn't even be here because I was in Pompano Beach, Florida, bearing my baby. Yeah, one of my children. But I thank God for the 44 years he gave her to us, and four grandchildren, and four great-grand. Yeah, I praise God for Karina Plachette Gordon. Yes, I do. Every day. Yeah, do I miss her? Yeah, I miss her. But I know God is too holy, too righteous, and too loving to make a mistake. Amen. <clears throat> Let me pull this book out of here. Yeah, yeah. Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Hebrews, the sixth chapter. This is for my friend. Yeah, who wife just transitioned. Mm. Yeah, Hebrews, the sixth chapter. And I want to begin at the 13th verse. And, and yeah, it says. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently, listen, my brothers and sisters, wait on the Lord, endured, he obtained the promise for men Verily, yes, amen, swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation as to them an end to all strife, wherein God willingly more abundantly show unto thee, unto the heirs of promise, the mutability of his, yeah, counsel, confirm it by an oath. And I want to, amen, just talk about, amen, I'm going to pull out this text here, y'all. An anchor for the soul. Yeah, an anchor for the soul. Yeah, verses 13 through 19. And here it is, right here in the text, y'all. But as I said, amen, which hope we have, verse 19, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and and steadfast, and which entered into that within the veil. And I want to share with you, amen, Coconut Cracker, Brother Larry Funches, my friend, that God will be an anchor, yeah, for your soul in the midnight hour, amen, when when memories seem like they weigh you down, uh-huh, and you reach over on the other side of that bed, and it, and it ain't nothing but air. 
God will be an anchor for your soul, my brother. Yes. So in perilous times like these, when the rapid shifting of time will hurry to swallow us up, we need an anchor. Yeah, for the soul. Therefore, we need to be sure and very sure that we lay hold upon the hope that God has set before us. Yeah, that's he, right there in the text, y'all see Hebrews 6 and that 18 verse. Yeah, and that hope is Jesus, the Savior of the world. John 3, 16. As the world turns and we pass through the storms of life, my brother, in the days of our life as raging, yeah, and evil forces turn and toss us, yeah, about and around, yeah, and forces us to make choices, we need an anchor for our soul. Yeah, we need something, Brother Larry, in this time, yeah, when loved ones cross over to the other side, we got to recognize, amen, that God is too holy and too righteous. He's too loving to make a mistake. But the Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And I'm not coming here to encourage you with the gospel to tell you it's easy. No, it ain't easy. I prayed, yeah, and I prayed on the daily, asking God to not to let me have to bury one of my children. But August the 9th, 2017, I preached my baby's film home going celebration. And one thing I rejoice in, I know, I know she was saved. I knew she had been born again. I knew she loved it, the Lord. When I kissed her that night about 11.30, I missed my plane from Los Angeles when they told me, you need to come. And God worked it out and let me get to Fort Lauderdale, Florida and spend three hours with her. Kissed her on the forehead and told her, I said, baby, I'll be back in the morning. But God had other plans. That's why we need an anchor for the soul. Because our plan Ain't always God's plan, my brothers and sisters. No, I plan, you know, always God's plan. Just like on March the see, I had sent for my son. Yeah, to fly from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and he was going to help me drive back to Florida to pick up my wife. Yeah, from my oldest daughter's house. And when I hit that turn, that freeway, the man ran into the back of him and told his tail end of my car off. It's in the shop and I just put it in yesterday, going back and forth with the insurance company. I just took this attitude. Lord, I guess you didn't want me to go. See, sometimes God had to bring storms into our lives, my brothers and sisters, to get our, our attention. Yeah. And I lost how many cousins? One, two in one family. I'm trying to think. I know it was a total of three or four. First cousin. Yeah, in this virus. And I still believe that God. Is trying to get our attention. You know, I never would have been on Facebook preaching and teaching, don't be for the virus. You know, yeah. And I've gotten so many letters and words of encouragement. Yeah. You need an anchor that you can trust in, that you know. Amen. That when the storms of life are pressing you and it look like you feel like giving up, you need something that you can hold on to. 
Yeah, that you won't be tossed to and fro. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead on. Amen. We need an anchor. I said when storms of life, amen, are facing us and we have to make choices. We need to let our anchor hold and grip that solid rock. And my brothers and sisters, that rock is Jesus. To him we have fled for refuge. Yes, and in him we must have a strong consolation. That Jesus is not only our anchor, but the text says, amen. He is our sure foundation and shelter. In him we are safe and secure from all along in this sin sick society. Yeah, amen. Yeah, we wrestle, yeah, not just against flesh and blood, that that we can see, but against seen and unseen dangers, evil forces against principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness. Yeah, amen. And he's faithful at it. Yeah, he's faithful at it. And I beg of you, don't try, amen, to deal with Satan on your own. He's over 6,000 years old, amen, and he's too wise. Yeah. Not only has he got demons flying and seen and unseen, yeah, but he got his, yeah, his Christian in the church house too. But thanks be unto God. Yeah. We have an anchor that we can hold on to his word and he has declared, yeah, for one tittle a dot of this word fell. Heaven and earth will pass away. Yeah. Then he asked the question in the eleventh chapter of Saint Luke, Amen. He asked this question Is there anything too hard for me that is to do for you and to you? And I come to tell you, my brothers and sisters, I'm a living witness that there is nothing too hard for God to do for you. For he said, teaches us in Matthew 6 and 33, if you seek my kingdom and righteousness, first, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. God will make a way. Yes, he will. So be encouraged, my brothers and sisters, and know that we are praying, amen, that just like he's gotten you through, amen, I think it was your sister, he'll get you through this. Yeah, he'll get you through this. And as I get ready, amen, to close, my brothers and sisters, I don't want uh, say this too much yeah but um my wife is suffering yeah it's with a uh, four stage cancer we found out in august yeah uh the 18th of uh, 2019 she went in for surgery at the kaiser hospital on cadillac and the surgeon just uh closed her back up yeah and told me it was all over her chest yeah, and uh, we went to uh, the oncologist, yeah, it's in uh, Harbor City, California. Uh-huh, and uh, the oncologist told me, he said, Miss Ashley, uh, we can't heal her, but all we can do uh, is extend her life. And uh, I thank uh, the oncologist and said, uh, I thank you, doctor, but uh, I know somebody who's able yeah, <laughs> to do above and abundantly that that uh, I ever could ask. Uh, that's why he tells us uh, in the eighth chapter of Romans, yeah, uh, we don't know what to ask for, uh, but if you cry, our Father, that is to say, uh, our Father, yes, who sits at the right hand, yes, uh, the throne of God, uh, making uh intercession for us uh, oh great god uh, and i can deal uh, with that word uh, 
intercessions, uh, yes, uh, he protects us uh, from, as the text says, uh, yes, from danger, uh, sin, and uh, unseen. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, he forgives us, uh, yes, uh, oh, great God, uh, yes, uh, when we do wrong, uh, and say, um, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, and, um, the God I serve uh, reminds uh, his father, yes, uh, way back on Calvary, uh, yes, uh, I took care of that one, uh, yes, I did, uh, yes, uh, every God, uh, have you ever thought about, uh, yes, uh, loved ones that uh, you can uh, remember, yeah, that have seen, uh, oh, great God, that uh, you have done uh, uh, much worse than them, but uh, God come through, uh, yes, uh, take them home, uh, yes, uh, oh, great God, and uh, I might as well tell you, yes, uh, 2022, uh, my wife is still here, still going to church, uh, singing praises to God, uh, yes, she is, and I come to tell somebody, yes, uh, you giving up, uh, uh, yes, on a situation, uh, yes, but uh, I come to tell you uh, that there is an anchor uh, for your soul, uh, yes, uh, God will uh, make a way, uh, yes, uh, when the storms of life are raging, oh Lord, uh, yes, you will, uh, oh great God, and, uh, I want to encourage you, uh, yes, uh, Larry, uh, hold on to God's unchanging hand, uh, no, no, yes, uh, yes, uh, your good job, uh, oh Lord, uh, not because of your big beautiful, uh, yes, uh, Ponderosa, oh great God, uh, because he's able, yes, he is, uh, to keep you from falling. And, uh, yes, uh, and I'm shouting and rejoicing right now. Yes, that uh, I have the opportunity. Oh, Lord, uh, thank you for each and every one under the sound of my voice. Uh, yes, uh, yours might not be bereavement. Uh, yours might not be a uh, hip meter. Yes, that uh, land on a bed of affliction. Uh, oh, great God, but uh, well, Lord. Us got to go, uh, yes, uh, through the dash that we call uh, life. Uh, oh, great God, and uh, there will be, uh, yes, uh, edge of nights. Uh, oh, great God, uh, there will be, and when we reminisce, uh, yes, uh, days of uh, our lives. But uh, I come to tell you that uh, he who hung on Calvary's cross, uh, yes. Yes, uh, one dark Friday, uh, shed his righteous blood. Uh, yes, but he uh, didn't stop there. Oh, great God, uh, for long about the ninth hour, oh, great God, uh, he testified. Uh, yes, that uh, it's finished. Uh, yes, uh, I've accomplished it. Oh, yes, I will accomplish all that you uh, sent me to do, Father. So into thy hands uh, I commend uh, my spirit. Uh, in other words, uh, he hung his head uh, in the locks of his shoulder, gave up the ghost. Uh, uh, but I want to encourage uh, somebody to, under the sound of my voice, uh, regardless of the situation or uh, condition, uh, Oh, great God, uh, bright early after three days, uh, yes, uh, he got up with all power and heaven and earth in his hand. So be encouraged, be encouraged. Listen, my brothers and sisters, don't forget to tune in tomorrow morning at 1030 Pacific Time. The Perfect Peace Bible Church will be streaming live on Facebook. Your humble servant, yeah, will be sharing with you. Yeah, 
because he got up. You can get up. Don't give up. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. God bless you. It's been a pleasure. Oh, my brothers and sisters, you that didn't wave, you that did wave. Amen. We love you. We love you. And you can't do nothing about it. God bless you. We are out of here. You that are in the city, once again, the Perfect Peace Bible Church, 111.